Now one thing I want to show you in this video here is um, I talked a lot about when you're trying to find different shirts that you want to uh, try out and test out on Teespring. Uh, one thing that I always love doing before I take any action in develop or developing a shirt or designing a shirt or doing anything any further with a particular idea is I have to figure out whether or not there's an audience to, to actually uh, advertise to on Facebook. And so the way that I do that, I'll just show you an example how I do that. So I did have an, ex uh, an idea at one point of promoting to, uh, um, I guess, young adults, women that are into volleyball. I saw that it was a very hot topic on uh, One Elo. So you can look through here and you can see all these different um, volleyball related shirts. So I was thinking, well, I want to try something to do with volleyball in young women. But I need to make sure that that actually exists on Facebook. So if you go over to Facebook and you log in and go to your ads manager, you actually just type in ads manager at the very top there and click on create ad and then just click on click uh, to website. I just stick any website link in here. I'll just use one that's already in there. It doesn't matter what link you put in there. I don't care about the link. <clears throat> what I want to do is analyze the audience. So for that particular idea for volleyball, I want to see whether or not there's a big enough audience for me to market to. And I'll go really broad at first, and then as I'm marketing, I can dial in the ads. But first what I'll do is I'll check um, through United States, and I'll do 18 and up. And for this particular idea, I want to, to focus on women. Um, and the interest would be volleyball. So volleyball, and let's see here, we've got 7.4 million people that I could advertise to, but obviously I'd have to dial in this ad a lot more than that, and I'd have it that big, but sometimes you'll come in here and you're trying to look for a, a particular niche idea, and you're only going to get like, say, you know, 20,000. Well, it just isn't enough. I usually need to see at least minimum, like over 100,000 for a broad interest like this and just uh, like one one gender it has to be at least over a hundred thousand then you can start dialing in using all the other stuff for example um, let's say you want to get um, target people digital activities that are online spenders that are actually engaged or active have paid through with their credit card in the last 30 days then you can really dial that in And you can see now that I cut that down to only 76,000. So that's what I mean. Like you want to be able to start with a huge audience so that you can dial in with all of these behaviors and also demographics. Like um, for example, if you're using the demographics up here, let's say we want to focus on um, education level. So like I'm going to I'm going to guess for volleyball, it's going to be a lot of young women. So um, I guess I couldn't. I could demo, uh, look at people in education level that are still in high school or in in, in, uh, in college, for example. So 800,000 people. So you start narrowing down. But the idea here is what I really want to pinpoint in this video is just uh, this coming here without any uh, demographics or behaviors, just with the, a single interest or a couple interests at least, how big is your audience? That you can actually promote that to, so that would be a good niche for me to get into because I'm I got a large audience. You know, another example could be let's say um, uh, like the Miami Heat basketball team. Obviously, 10 million people, <laughs> but you know, let's say let's try something obscure like uh, uh, metal detecting or something. Metal detecting. Metal detecting. All right, we're looking at 20,000 people. It's probably not a really good market to go after for selling them a t-shirt, right? So I just need to make an example there. But that's what I do before I take any action when you're looking for your shirt or your niches to get into and different shirt ideas. Make sure you come over to Facebook and make sure the audience is there. I have made this mistake before, <laughs> more than once. I know I feel just retarded saying it, but I did it. You know, I went out and I, I thought the shirt was going to sell on, on, <laughs> on Facebook. I'm like, oh, this is a great idea. 
I go out and design the shirt and I get all the way to listing the ad and I'm trying to find some interest and all of a sudden it's like 20,000 people come on no one's gonna buy my shirt there's not there's not enough people and I can't even use any fancy targeting in here I can't use more demographics or anything or else it comes up to like less than a thousand people so you gotta really do use this method before you take any action especially before you start sending designs off to a designer or something like that right so anyhow make sure you get into the Facebook ad manager and make sure there's an actual audience available for your shirt design